the Roman emperors in so many Roman novels and movies always regard themselves as God and so forth. Uh, not from the start. The great Augustus was a very sane and uh, quite a noble emperor and was in charge from 30 B.C. to 14 A.D., one of the longest tenures in Roman history. Uh, he never seriously considered himself a god. But at his funeral, when the flames leaped up in the Roman typical uh, crematory uh, of uh, their funeral rites, uh, one of the senators saw an eagle ascending. And oh, that means his soul was going uh, to the heavens. And this is the beginning of the cult of Divus Augustus. And he was then canonized later on by the Senate. He didn't think it was a god, but the Senate did think. And Claudius, uh, he was also deified after death as sort of a joke. And so nobody really took the emperorship seriously until Domitian. He's the one who caused John to go to Patmos in terms of fleeing from the second great persecution of the church. And he called himself Dominus et Deus, uh, Lord and God. Only he meant it. And so from that point on, if you were a good emperor, the Senate would usually vote you deity uh, at the end of it, at the end of your uh, reign. Mm -hmm.